Hey guys, welcome to this week's flip video. Uh, today you are exploring how to solve addition and subtraction problems by using place value partitioning. So one thing that we should look at is what this word here means, partitioning. Well, what it really means is breaking up our numbers into smaller ones to help us solve them a lot quicker. Okay, so with place value, you're, you are ultimately looking at the ones in a number, the tens in a number, and the hundreds in a number as well. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, a couple of easier numbers with uh, just two digit numbers. And we're going to start with, um, let's try 22 plus 34. Okay, now off the top of my head, I don't know what this is. Okay, but what I can use is place value partitioning to help me solve it a lot quicker. Okay, and rewriting, uh, rewriting the question. So what you first need to do is look at your ones units in this number. So if I look at my ones, I have a two and I have a four. Okay, so if I actually take these away and bring them down here and turn this into a new equation. So I'm gonna rewrite it down here. I'm gonna take the two away from 20 and I'm going to add it to the four from the 30, okay? Two plus four, that should be nice and quick. Six. Now what are you left with, okay? We have done, we have added together the ones units from each of these numbers. Now we need to look at the tens numbers from each of these units, uh, each of these numbers. So I now have 20 and I now have 30. Again, let's rewrite the question, 20 plus 30 equals, again, you should be able to solve this quite quickly, of knowing that that's 50. Then all you need to do is add these two numbers together. Okay, this is a nice, quick, easy way of solving harder addition problems by breaking them into pieces. Okay, 50 plus 6 equals, oops, 50, 6. Let's try it one more time so you can see all the steps. Okay, what if I had the number 35 plus 42? Again, off the top of my head, I don't know what the answer is. So I'm going to use place value partitioning to break it up. I'm going to start with my ones units. I've got a 5 and a 2. I'm going to rewrite the question. 5 plus 2 equals. Seems much easier now, doesn't it? equals seven. What am I left with? I'm left with my tens units. I've got 30 and I've got 40. Again, rewrite the question. 30 plus 40 equals, you should know that one quite quick, 70. Now again, we are adding these two numbers together. 70 plus seven equals 77. The place value partitioning is a nice quick way to break up harder numbers into smaller parts for you to solve quickly. If you're stuck, rewatch the video, pause it, try it, and hopefully you can use place value partitioning to help you solve problems this week. Good luck.